click the bell icon to get latest videos from ekida hello friends welcome to ekida today we will see problem number 3 on graphical method for determination of residues let us see what it is question is we have to find a function v of t using pole zero plot which is maybe we have to draw it from this function let us expand it after expanding this function we make it some polynomial and from which we will draw pole zero plot and from that pole zero plot as our topic says we have to determine the residues so when i expand this what i get this is the network function that i am going to get which is voltage function in s domain now you can see you have to be very careful for numerator and denominator highest order is same so in such cases we have to divide this numerator by denominator so let us divide it so this is we divided and we can now write the same function and now we can find the residues first term is only one so inverse laplace transform of this one is going to be delta t which is impulse signal and this is the question main question for us that is 2s plus 7 upon s square plus 6s plus 5 let us put the factors and now we find the residues for this function so there are two residues to be founded but for that we need a pole zero plot so we'll draw the pole zero diagram you can see here there is 1 0 at s equal to minus 3.5 and at s equal to minus 5 and s equal to minus 1 there are two poles so this is s plane so first zero is at s equal to minus 3.5 somewhere here then there are two poles at s equal to minus 1 so that i'm going to draw like this and s equal to minus 5 so suppose we want to determine the k1 first so we have to consider this pole and we have to draw all the vectors which are coming towards this pole so let us determine k1 first so i'm going to draw the vectors for k1 so from this zero which is at 3.5 there will be one vector like this whose length will be 1.5 because this is 5 this is 3.5 so length is going to be 1.5 and very easily you can see the angle is 180 degrees so it is going to be e raised to j pi and from this pole if you draw one vector here then the length is going to be 4 and again the angle is going to be 180 degrees so we will combine both obviously we will write this in numerator this in denominator so let us determine now k1 now k1 equal to a scale factor you can see the scaling factor is 2 and about zeros this is the vector which is from 0 so 1.5 into e raised to j pi and from the pole other pole it is going to be 4 into e raised to j pi 
So if you calculate this e raised to j pi and e raised to j pi will get cancelled and the answer that we will get is 1.5 divided by 2 that is we can write 0.75. K2 is a residue which is related with pole at s equal to minus 1 so this one. So for that we will use a blue stick and we have to draw one vector from this 0 to this pole and the length will be 2.5 because this is going to be 1, 2 and 2.5 so this is going to be 2.5 and you can see angle is going to be 0 so it is going to be e raised to j0 and if you have to consider the second pole this is how it will be from blue stick from s equal to minus 5 to s equal to minus 1 and you can see the length will be equal to 4 so that I am going to write here length is going to be 4 and angle also is going to be 0 so it is going to be e raised to j0 and residue is or uh, residue is to be determined scaling factor is 2. Numerator part is from 0 to this pole that is 2.5 into e raised to j0. Denominator will be pole part from 4 into e raised to j0. So it is again going to be 2.5 divided by 2 which is equal to 1.25. So we will write it finally. This is the statement. So we will write the values of k1 and k2. And now if we apply the inverse Laplace transform, well don't forget we have to consider that 1 also, this is the 1 or we can write this term as k1 plus k2, so we will write v of s now. And now by inverse Laplace transform we get for 1 it is going to be delta t. This is e raised to minus 5t because it is plus here. That's it. This is how we have got the by using inverse Laplace transform, we have got in time domain. That is the end of this problem. So thank you very much, guys, for watching this video. Stay tuned to Ikeda and do subscribe to Ikeda. Thank you.